Welcome to HECA 2 exam practice test. Our topic today is biology. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. What is the longest phase in the life of a cell? A. Prophase. B. Interphase. C. Anaphase. D. Metaphase. The correct answer is B interphase. Explanation. Interphase is the longest phase in the life of a cell. Interphase occurs between cell divisions. Prophase is the initial stage and also the longest stage of mitosis, but it occurs faster than interphase. During prophase, the chromosomes become visible, and the centrioles divide and position themselves on either side of the nucleus. Anaphase is the third phase of mitosis, in which chromosome pairs divide and take up positions on opposing poles. Metaphase is the second stage of mitosis. In it, the chromosomes align themselves across the center of the cell. Number 2. Which of the following is not found within a bacterial cell? A. Mitochondria. B. DNA. C. Vesicles. D. Ribosome. The correct answer is A. Mitochondria. Explanation. Bacterial cells do not contain mitochondria. Bacteria are prokaryotes composed of single cells, their cell walls contain peptidoglycans. The functions normally performed in the mitochondria are performed in the cell membrane of the bacterial cell. DNA is the nucleic acid that contains the genetic information of the organism. It is in the shape of a helix. DNA can reproduce itself and can synthesize RNA. A vesicle is a small cavity containing fluid. A ribosome is a tiny particle composed of RNA and protein, in which polypeptides are constructed. Number 3. Which of the following is a protein? A. Cellulose. B. Hemoglobin. C. Estrogen. D. ATP. The correct answer is B. Hemoglobin. Explanation. Hemoglobin is a protein. Proteins contain carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen. These substances are required for the growth and repair of tissue and the formation of enzymes. Hemoglobin is found in red blood cells and contains iron. It is responsible for carrying oxygen from the lungs to the various body tissues. Adenosine triphosphate ATP is a compound used by living organisms to store and use energy. Estrogen is a steroid hormone that stimulates the development of female sex characteristics. Cellulose is a complex carbohydrate that composes the better part of the cell wall. Number 4. Which of the following structures is not involved in translation? A. tRNA. B. mRNA. C. Ribosome. D. DNA. The correct answer is D. DNA. Explanation. Deoxyribonucleic acid DNA, is not involved in translation. Translation is the process by which messenger RNA, also known as mRNA, are decoded into polypeptide chains. Transfer RNA, known as tRNA, is a molecule that moves amino acids into the ribosomes during the synthesis of protein. Messenger RNA carries sets of instructions for the conversion of amino acids into proteins from the RNA to the other parts of the cell. Ribosomes are the tiny particles in the cell where proteins are put together. Ribosomes are composed of ribonucleic acid RNA and protein. Number 5. Which of the following is necessary for diffusion to occur? A. A concentration difference. B. A true solution. C. A differentially permeable membrane. D. A non-permeable membrane. The correct answer is A. A concentration difference. Explanation. There must be areas of different concentrations for diffusion to occur. Diffusion is the movement of molecules from an area of high concentration to an area of lower concentration. This process takes place in the body in a number of different areas. Number 6. How many different types of nucleotides are there in DNA? A1. B2. C4. D8. The correct answer is C4. Explanation. 
There are four different nucleotides in DNA. Nucleotides are monomers of nucleic acids, composed of five carbon sugars, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. Nucleotides make up both DNA and RNA, they are essential for the recording of an organism's genetic information, which guides the actions of the various cells of the body. Nucleotides are also a crucial component of adenosine triphosphate ATP, one of the parts of DNA, and a chemical that enables metabolism and muscle contractions. Number 7. Which of the following cell types has no nucleus? A platelet. B. Red blood cell. C. White blood cell. D. Phagocyte. The correct answer is B. Red blood cell. Explanation. Red blood cells do not have a nucleus. These cells are shaped a little like a donut, although the hole in the center is not quite open. The other three types of cell have a nucleus. Platelets, which are fragments of cells and are released by the bone marrow, contribute to blood clotting. White blood cells, otherwise known as leukocytes, help the body fight disease. A phagocyte is a cell that can entirely surround bacteria and other microorganisms. The two most common phagocytes are neutrophils and monocytes, both of which are white blood cells. Number 8. Which part of aerobic respiration uses oxygen? A. Osmosis. B. Krebs cycle. C. Glycolysis. D. Electron transport system. The correct answer is D. Electron transport system. Explanation. The electron transport system enacted during aerobic respiration requires oxygen. This is the last component of biological oxidation. Osmosis is the movement of fluid from an area of high concentration through a partially permeable membrane to an area of lower concentration. This process usually stops when the concentration is the same on either side of the membrane. Glycolysis is the initial step in the release of glucose energy. The Krebs cycle is the last phase of the process in which cells convert food into energy. It is during this stage that carbon dioxide is produced and hydrogen is extracted from molecules of carbon. Number 9. Which of the following is the most general taxonomic category? A. Kingdom. B. Phylum. C. Genus. D. Order. The correct answer is A. Kingdom. Explanation. Kingdom is the largest, most expansive taxonomic category. A genus is a group of related species, which are capable of breeding and producing similar offspring. In binomial nomenclature, genus is the first name. An order is any group of similar families. A phylum is any group of closely related classes. The HESI exam requires you to know the name and relative specificity of each taxonomic category. They are listed here in order from most general to most specific, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Number 10. What is the name of the process by which a bacterial cell splits into two new cells? A. Mitosis. B. Meiosis. C. Replication. D. Fission. The correct answer is D. Fission. Explanation. Fission is the process of a bacterial cell splitting into two new cells. Fission is a form of asexual reproduction in which an organism divides into two components. Each of these two parts will develop into a distinct organism. The two cells, known as daughter cells, are identical. Mitosis, on the other hand, is the part of eukaryotic cell division in which the cell nucleus divides. In meiosis, the homologous chromosomes in a diploid cell separate, reducing the number of chromosomes in each cell by half. In replication, a cell creates duplicate copies of DNA. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.